It's race day for our young drivers here in the United Arab Emirates, where the Yas Marina circuit is about to play host to the Abu Dhabi Formula 2 race. Let's get started. Yas Marina circuit is a 3.2 mile racetrack built on the man-made Yas Island. In addition to the 16 corners, it features two very long straights. Now these will be the driver's main overtaking chances today into turn five and turn seven. I'm sitting here quite emotional next to my friend Davide Valsecchi. Here we are at the end of the F2 calendar and the atmosphere is electric. I have no doubt the drivers will be giving it everything they have out there today. I can't wait to get underway. Hey, Alex, you are absolutely right. It's a very special place. This is a track like no other, an event like no other, a jewel in the crown of Formula 2. It's perfect. I think we are in for a fantastic racing event here. OK, now that we've got some good points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Well, Mark, hate to break it to you, bud, but this is a five-way championship decider. It's either we get that win or we get nothing. That's how do a diet here at the Yas Marina circuit. Today is a very emotional race here at MP Motorsport. As one of us already has a seat locked in in a Formula One. And it's a Ferrari powered Formula One team. So that leaves you with three options. So either go on to the big boss, Honcho Man themselves, Ferrari, taking it down to their sister team, Alfa Romeo. into that little American brother, Haas. Okay, this is your final lap, final lap of the race. Now breaking zones. Just slam it in. Come on, come on, you got this. Biggest last lap overtake. Oh my god. Okay, pick up rubber. <sighs> Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Strong, 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 strong race. Yes. And it's not a podium, but hey. ART, the French team who have been racing since the 90s in various forms of motorsport. Let's go! Once again, back on the winner's podium today. Huzzah! Dry... Hey, yeah, hey. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the drivers' championship. De Vries increases their championship lead. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say is your driver of the day? Today, I'm going to give it to the MP Motorsport driver. 
They did a great job at getting the most out of Tyrus without losing pace. That's a good skill. Go. And here's how things are shaping up in the team's championship. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from ART this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. After and let's go ahead and take a look at these highlights of the race. So we go to four or five red lights, and we are underway. And it looks like Roy and Asani, um, you know, had a little bit of difficulty lining up on the grid. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Sideways in this box. Nick DeVries was well outside of this box. But it's okay. Roy and Asani has a little bit of a worse start. The rest of the grid has away pretty well. Nick DeVries looks to come down to the inside, and he makes that dive onto the Trident to make a dive up in the front. And right now we're battling with our teammate Lear, Lyrum, and Zendeli. And into the breaking zone, we go ahead and make that move on Marcus Armstrong and a lot of people. We have a dive down the inside. And then we shoot along up onto the second back straight, and then we make a dive into that turn. Make a little bit of contract, and we get spun, and we get... And our wind stays on, or it may have been taken off. Replay's a little buggy. I know that my wind was taken off, but yet we still try and push along. We want to stay inside the pack, but we don't want to try and make any risky moves, because we'll have to make a pit stop. That's a strong, strong, beautiful shot down into what used to be a uh, chicane. And then Robert Schwartzman's going to ruin the moment. And a little bit of a moment, and that's where I make the contract with Robert Schwartzman. And then that's going to deploy the VSC. And for some reason, it decides it wants to skip ahead to... Let's just go ahead and have another look at that. I just have a little bit of a moment. And then we go plowing into him. And we need to go ahead and have our own little bit of an investigation. Wait, what's the button to change camera? Uh, you ch can't change cameras in this mode? Oh, well, yes. Yeah, so we could just slight snap. And we'll just go ahead and just plow in a Schwartzman because of the moment. Initially starts out as just a yellow flags, but by... Starts out as yellow flags and then made the overtake on a joke on you but so we skip at eight, lap eight when the safety car is over we made a little bit of we obviously made a couple of overtakes we started from the back of the pack in p21 i don't know why i decided to skip ahead all of those laps but we can deal with it and then we come down to a lap 10 or i'm chasing down liam lawson and i go ahead and make the move down on the inside and give him a little bit of contact and make him run a little wide. And then we shoot down here, and we're on our way to hit Felipe Trugovich, but that's not important, because it's the final lap. And then, in the final turn, we go ahead and try to make a dive down on the middle of these drivers, and we were able to successfully take down Martin Satao, but we weren't able to take down the rest of the grid, as we were hoping. Uh, we were hoping we were able to dive in onto the podium, but we were just unsuccessful at that. So, Let's move on to the feature race.
Yee, let's go! It's been my privilege over the years to witness a number of great sporting events. And oh, yes! We did it! Yes! Let's go! I don't care about the podium. They're not important. Six points. Today I'm going to give it to the MP Let's go. It looks like Roy Nassani doesn't know how to line up. We go to five red lights for this feature race that's going to decide who will win the 2021 Formula 2 Drivers' Champion. Uh, Nick DeVries has a little bit of a poor start. Goes from P17 all the way down to P20. We tailgate Enzo Fittipaldi to see if we can try and get a pull off of him, and that was unsuccessful. So now we try and make a cut down on the inside of Roy, and it looks like they they make a little bit of contact, and uh, Nick is able to make, get away without a hitch, but he was not able to make successfully make the overtake on Enzo into the braking zone. He goes around the outside of a whole bunch of drivers, and it looks like the front wing of a car goes flying away, but Nick is only able to come away with two positions. As we head down the second straight, he is overtaken. Or he's able to hold on to his position as he follows. He's able to overtake Robert Schwartzman going to the braking zone. He goes on the outside and smashes a 50 meter board. Now it's just all about trying to be able to get that power down in that second DRS zone, but there's no DRS. This is the first lap. DRS comes back to double the drivers in the third lap when you're within a second of the car ahead. Now Nick is facing down the back of David Beckman. And lap one is about to come to its closure, but they, Nick looks like he's going to try to make a move into a turn of where you're really not supposed to be able to make moves, and he gets it done. David Beckman's now behind him. Now it's time to push on to Joe Guan Yu, and with DRS now, we are up in the P8, falling behind Marino Satel into the braking zone. We slam on the brakes, go a little wide, and try and take him. We hop the curb, we take away the billiard. We catch the DRS off, of him, or we don't catch the DRS off of him, and somehow we decide just to skip right all the way up to the head because we were tailgating right behind Dan Tickdom, but this is not what they're going to show us. But they're not going to show us. We were tailgating right behind Dan Tickdom to pull a DRS off of him, and then the FIA decided that I was going to win by too much. They were like, hey, you have to make a mandatory pit stop. So I was like, well, why? And they said, because we said so. So that's how we ended up in P18 and basically almost throwing away the driver's championship. But we cut down the inside of Roy Nassani just to secure a P17. And we drive across the wall to try and see the boys. But it doesn't matter. Nick DeFries, the American, is your Formula 2 world champion. World champion champion of the world in 2021 the american and the dutchman so it looks like we go we actually went to a red bull driving school but we saw our eyes at a ferrari and the ferrari we are going with Huss. And I want K Mag as my teammate. 22 Great, race season. You, you can go back and edit anything we've done so far, and we'll come back here at the start of each season. That's not good enough. I go, want to edit that advance, helmet. Head to Team HQ, and we can start our push to the top of Formula One. Body white. Luminance maxed out. Copy color. And then you take this shader all the way over to 160. Push this all over to 240. And then 110. Copy. White. Copy. Huh. on our hip 
And then our podium celebration is going to be a rum bomb. To fit to a radio call of. Nice, it's very nice. Ooh, uh... We did it! We did it! Because, you know, Haas has never really ever had a race win or a podium, I believe. So, you know. I think they'll like it. Gunther Steiner. Here's where you can buy perks to become a better driver both on and off the track. Any I should have to manage facilities. In the contract negotiation is cash you can spend on these perks. Looks like Gunter hasn't done much upgrades to the car, but with those upgrades that we'll have, we will be almost on pace. With Alphatari, and I want to say a huge thank you to all you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Or, poise. Shoish!